Committee will come to order. Despite impeachment and the current logjam in Washington, some Democrats and Republicans agree there's still work that they can get done. We have to look at what we can start to accomplish uh, over the next few months that will help benefit the American people. New York Democratic Congressman Anthony Brindisi says impeachment shouldn't impede progress on legislating efforts. Things on protecting pre-existing conditions for people's health care, prescription drugs, uh, election security, uh, women's equality. House Democrats have sent bills on those topics over to the Senate, but they haven't seen the light of day in the Republican-controlled chamber. Some, like Maryland Congressman David Trone, say that's where the logjam is. We've passed over 300 bills now, 300 bills, 275 of those were bipartisan. They're sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk in the Senate. The Senate's passed four bills. New York Republican Congressman Tom Reed wants to see a vote on the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement. Enough is enough. We can do more than just play politics. Reed says the White House is ready to act. Impeachment is now kind of that roadblock. And once this is ignited, like I said, you got a small window right now, but once this is ignited, this town shuts down. But Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy says impeachment is no excuse. During the Nixon impeachment, during the Clinton impeachment, those presidents still legislated. Reporting in Washington, Morgan Wright.